Hi guys, welcome back to our case of econ struggles. Welcome to another exporting results struggle. Today I'm going to show you how to export summary statistics by specific group. This is really useful if say you've got a bunch of people in your sample and you want to also show summary statistics by like age or gender. Here's a way you can do this all in one table again straight from Stata to LaTeX. So here just to use the cars example again, let's say I want to use all cars, domestic cars, and foreign cars in different columns. Again, this could be the case with like age or gender, and we're gonna do this directly from Stata into LaTeX, and it's gonna come out looking like a really nice table. So jumping right into Stata, I'm gonna go ahead and read in the data and also make sure that I have everything cleared. Again, the code for this video is below in the description if you would like to use it as starter code. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run three separate SPOST commands, and I'm gonna have Stata store them under different names. So I'm gonna store group one, for example. You can make this whatever you want. That's gonna be for all people. I'm gonna have group two be four and equal to one using our classic if statement that we're all familiar with. And I'm gonna have my third group be domestic and that's gonna be four and equal equal to zero. So now I'm gonna run all three of these. And you can see what's gonna happen is each time Stata is gonna go ahead and store each of these estimates for the mean standard deviation, min, max, and count like we specified for each of these four variables under this name here. So if I want to output this, I'm gonna call it group one. If I want to output this, it's gonna be group two. And if I want to output this guy, it's gonna be group three. And now we're all ready to use our STAB command to make this nice table. So once again, using this delimit trick that I just keep using, notice here in this STAB, I'm using all the groups. I wanna output all three groups that I've estimated. And in order to call each specific group, I'm gonna use the M title option and not the call label option. How do you know whether or not you need to use M title or call label or equation label? It's sort of finicky. The best way is to use some of the starter code that I put in these video descriptions, or you could just try them. One of them will work and the others will not. Notice that other than this M title option, pretty much everything else is done. One thing is I'm not trying to reorganize the order of the columns. I've sort of just put them in Stata in the order that I want them to come out in. If you wanted to do a separate order, you could just list them, like I could do group three, group two, group one. But if I change the order in this guy here, I need to make sure that the M titles are changed too, because LaTeX and Stata are not gonna automatically figure out that if you change this order, you also wanna change this order. So it's something to keep in mind and make sure you're double checking in the output. You might say that's sort of a strike against this option, but at the same time, if you're making these tables by hand, which I highly do not recommend, then you would have to do the same sort of thing where you're double checking that your columns are correct and that your numbers are correct. And at least here, you don't have to check that your numbers are gonna get into this table correctly. So now that we're all set with that, I'm just gonna run everything. We'll double check our tech file when it comes out. We'll see that we've got these nice little labels and we've got all our numbers set up in the way that we want. So we're all set to put this into Overleaf and we will get that exact table that I just showed you. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how to do summary stats with multiple different groups in one table. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.